what is up guys what is going on so today uh i made it back to matt's place look how blue and nice the sky is it's such a great day but anyway uh we made it back to matt's shop and he isn't here so i'm waiting for him he's uh, coming back at first he didn't answer the phone so i got kind of scared but he's coming back and um we are going to continue on this geo tracker i just want to weld up the rest of the floor i want to get this going um we were going to try the panel bond thing but i couldn't find any and the store was closed where i went so we're just gonna go uh ahead with the welding as planned um i'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit better and try to patch up as much as i can and get this truck prepped for paint so let's get it showing there a little bit gotta keep it clean but uh we're still welding the floor it's obviously taking a little bit more time than usual why is this showing so much i gotta trim son gotta trim but anyway um yeah it's taking a little bit more time than usual as you can see i'm really sweaty welding kind of a lot of heat exposes all over you but anyway um being in this flame proof suit as well also is is hot but um we're trying to get the passenger side finished. I just welded two pieces. I'm going to put it up to the upper part of the floorboard where no one actually puts their feet up. Um, so nothing crazy structurally well there. It's just to cover that hole. And then we're going to finally move on to the driver's side. And then we can finally start with the rhino lining. Thank goodness. But I think for the driver's side, we might try the um, panel bond or I might just end up welding. it. I don't know. Let's just see how far I can get, though. But uh can't wait let's take a look Alrighty, guys so that is all the time that we have left for today what did we do we ended up welding up the rest of the patches on the passenger side obviously i have a little bit more welds to do on this passenger side and then i gotta get a bigger piece of metal for the driver's side it's i don't know where i'm gonna find that from but i'll i'll look around um matt luckily told me to look underneath to make sure that the undercoating wasn't caught on fire and it was and uh good thing we were still here um to monitor it so all i'm gonna do is sweep up and clean the shop form and then uh matt where are you going matt has some words of wisdom to give everybody what? where's it what's your words of wisdom i don't have no words of wisdom Matt, Matt said that there's a, there's a saying with body guys that you're not supposed to weld after three. And, and what was the saying, Matt? Hmm? What? what was the body guy saying? Hmm? Don't weld after like three or four o'clock. Because you're getting ready to go home after that. all right this guy's a this guy has a lot of words to give everybody all righty guys so thank you all for watching this video if you liked it definitely hit the subscribe button and definitely leave a like on this video because it helps with the youtube algorithm and leave your comments in the comment section below i'll see you all for the next one peace <laughs>